things from Miss A. I'm just going to review these until I run out of stuff, basically. That's what I've come to the conclusion of. Um, I have eyebrow products. So, I got these two. They're like an eyebrow gel that you brush into your hair to tint them. Well, your eyebrow hairs to tint them. This one's a bit too dark for me. But this one's like a perfect shade, almost. And, like... I darken my eyebrows. I'm actually a natural, natural blonde, but my eyebrow hairs are gray. I, I don't know why. So I just kind of make them like a brown blonde color. So this is kind of perfect for that anyway. It waxes them down, which makes it a lot easier for me to keep them in place. This is just dark. I don't know what to do with this. I could just have dark eyebrows. This one, I guess if you guys want to see it, it's like more of an auburn color so I would recommend this one if you have like really light eyebrows that are like light brown and this one if you're like more like chocolate brown hair and then I got like a uh, like a pencil I haven't used this yet I'm a little scared to and then I have used the brush thing well not the brush the uh the pencil yeah it's, um, it's alright. It's a little bit thick. Like, when I got it, I thought it was going to be, like, small so I can draw in the hair. But it's got, like, this thick opening. I don't know if you can tell. But you see how it's a triangle? I just feel like, if I'm not careful, I'll overdraw my eyebrows, which I already do anyway. But, like, it's, it's a little iffy. I'm going to try to see if I can master this, and then I'll let you guys know if it's alright. Um, usually when I think pencil, I think, like, really pointy and, like, precise because you have to draw in all your eyebrow hairs. So, I was a little confused when I got this. Didn't look like that on the website. Although it might have, I just didn't zoom in close enough. But, it's supposed to be long-lasting and it has. Like, it's lasted all day. But, what do you want from me? I got a powder from that website that is this. It's a matte powder. And I've been using this, like, every day. And it's been working pretty well. Because, like, I've got other loose powders. But this is kind of, like, and, you know, it's a pan and it's a solid powder. But when you dust it up, it actually is quite loose. Like, watch. So I take this random fluffy brush thing and then just, you see how much dust it creates? <laughs> That's my only issue, but I don't really mind it that much since I usually use it to powder my nose, which is a problem that I have a lot with, like, it breaking up throughout the day. I'm not really sure, but I think it's just because my glasses move. But this has been working out pretty well, and it's my color, which is nice. That's some of the information. It's Ivory 01 is the color I got. They're cruelty-free, which is cool, but this powder works well. And then I got two concealers. This one, which is a stick concealer that I've shown you guys before, it works pretty great. It's like a little bit dark for me, but I just put it like on contouring areas just to make sure I have like extra. Because sometimes I use a lighter foundation, but I've been breaking out a lot from stress. So I've been having to use a lot of concealer because my foundation, it's like... Eh, it's okay. I got a new Milani and I've been using it and I really like that one more actually. But I'm starting to run out so I went back to my other one just to get rid of it. The other concealer I got is this one. And this is actually my favorite concealer now. It's a two-in-one. It's like a concealer foundation thing but obviously I'm not going to use this as foundation. It's pretty amazing. It helps my under eyes, like, they look not so bad today. They still have bags because that's just my eyeballs, but it looks really nice. It hasn't, like, caked up or anything, which is good. I like it a lot. And it's very, like, it stays. It does not move. Once you put it down with, a, like, a beauty blender and powder it, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, I should probably start using it on my nose. But that's what I got for you guys today. It's these videos, you know, with all the fashion stuff. I used to use just this concealer, but it's so pink, it doesn't really go with my skin tone. Because I'm pale, but I'm not pink. I have pink undertones, but 
I'm still pretty pale. I'm mostly white. But stay tuned for the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to subscribe, click over here. If you want to see my playlist, click over here.